So, Shaq, let me say this, right? To all the up-and-coming youngins, not even just playing sports, to the up-and-coming youngins that's trying to be something in life because you really came out the gutter and you got real businesses. Real businesses. Like, real businesses. Like, we went to one of your restaurants and had dinner and it's like the whole, almost the strip was like the corner block was yours. And like, what advice could you get a youth? Whether it's a female that's trying to start a clothing line, a young boy that's trying to go to the league or the NFL or, you know, whatever you could give them as far as business-wise that they could use in their journey coming up in life. One, you have to educate yourself. Now, when I say education, it ain't, it ain't always, always about go to school. Right. We come from the same place. Yeah. I mean, people we see do something on the corner, we educate ourselves and we do it a little better. We right. do it a little bigger. Right. Right? Educate mm-hmm. yourself, right? Learn. Ask questions. Second thing is watch. There's so much information going on right now, you can watch. Like me, I watch people's mistakes. My father, who was a military drill sergeant, I'm glad he did what he did. Every time an athlete did something crazy, I got in trouble. Worst ass whooping I ever received in my life was when uh, Lynn Bias overdosed. My father came in with tears in his eye like like that was his son. He's like, if you ever do coke, I will kill you. So my dumb ass thinking, bro, I don't mess with coke, I mess with Pepsi. <laughs> and, yeah, because I, yeah, you know what I'm saying, because I didn't know what he was talking He's about. He's not mess with Pepsi. But I like, when he was grabbing me, and you know, after he, he touched me up, we went and we watched it. He was like, look at this, gone. Yeah. Brother could have been the number one pick. He could have, mm-hmm. like, so he was like, if you ever do something like that, I'm gonna kill you. So it's not that I'm smarter than everybody, I just watch. Right. I ask questions. And you listen. And I listen. Because so, that's, that's, that's the key. So I, I got my first business before I got my, my master's in uh, 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 business administration. Right. I did that. I went to the bookstore and bought a book, The Dummy's Guide of Starting Your Own Business. Mm. And any time I didn't understand, I'd ask somebody, my yeah. man, what's a subchapter S corporation? Man, you get that, man. All this studio stuff and the phone stuff, you can write that off. You get money back. So I'm I'm learning the game. Right. So we, we just... We just need to keep continuing giving them the answer to the test. Hopefully they listen. But it really is easy. Because, look, I ain't the smartest cat in the world. I just sit back and watch. Okay, that's how you do it. Okay, Jordan got his own brand. How am I going to get my brand? Right. Okay, Jordan did a JV with Nike, joint ventureship. Mm-hmm. All right, Nike, I probably can't do nothing with Nike. There's Adidas, there's a Reebok. Reebok. Boom, boom. Uh, hello, Mr. Reebok. My name is Mr. Shaq. I'd like to have a shoe. Sure. Uh, by the way, uh, Jordan has Jumpman. Already got Dunkman. Already got it. You know, already got it. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, labeling all that stuff. Let's do something. We do it. Bam. But now I'm like, because like I, I like to put everything I do in street sense. Right. So now Jordan moving way more bricks than I'm moving. Mm-hmm. Right. So now I got to switch up. Now I got to switch up. Like 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 Jordan owned this this hood. So I said, you know what? It's a lot of kids that can't afford these shoes. Mm. I ain't going to do nothing with Reebok no more. I'm going to do something on my own. Right. I'm going to go to a place like Walmart and Target, give them a shoe 30, 40, and now that's my lane. Right. I'm the Pablo Escobar of that. <laughs> yeah. Jordan got this. Right. I got cool, this. But I right. got that. So, right. you know, people try to give me a lot of flack, but it's something that needed to be done. And then I figured out, it, it ain't the fact that kids don't want to want to wear $20 shoes. They don't want to shoes. They don't want to wear shoes that look like they cost $20. Right. So I got some. So I got some. You know, pretty cool. You know, some pretty hot designers. Never since I made that decision, I've sold over two hundred fifty million pair. Damn, damn. And like, I make a lot of people happy because I couldn't afford Jordans. Right. I tried to cut grass and wash Jordans. cars I never and do had that. Jordans and by the time I raised up the money, they only came with size thirteen. So I couldn't. I couldn't wear. Them. But to answer your question, all all they gotta do is just educate themselves. And right. again, ed- education ain't always about going to school. Mm-hmm. Because me and you, we know a lot of guys that ain't never went to school Julia. and they're balling. Absolutely. Balling. And so. it, and it's also about understanding your weaknesses. That's it. And knowing where put knowing your, where put you're your, not. Put your, you know, know your strengths and align with your weaknesses. Put them around you. Like, how important is the accountants? But, listen, you still have to educate yourself. Because yeah. uh-huh. if you're not educated, the accountant can tell they can, you they can, anything. They can beat you. Tell you anything. I'm educated enough to go look at the books. Okay. And my father instilled that in me because 70% of athletes when they're done playing have nothing. Damn. 
And I didn't want to be that. So I'm like, hey, man, what's happening? No, 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 no. What is this? Mm. It's like, and like, I really had to learn business when I went platinum. Mm-hmm. My check was weak. I'm, yeah. like, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, all these dudes go. And you platinum. sold hard copies then. Yeah. This was hard copies. Yes, Absolutely. Did, but, this wasn't no but, strings yeah, added yeah. in and but, the bootleg stuff. But then I'm like, this check, this ain't, this went, this ain't what I thought it was going to be. Right. So now when I open them books, they charge me for studio time. Mm-hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Studio in my house. Right. Give me that back. Right. They charged me for, for catering. No, right. no, no. My chef cooked the meal for Biggie right. and Jay-Z and I. So right. if I wasn't educated enough to look at that, I Absolutely. wouldn't be able to have my people call it. Man, they got me out of so much. But like after I opened up the books and looked at it. You got it back. Hey, I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. This my studio. Right. I'm paying the engineering. Right. Oh, we missed it. No, no. My boy mixed it in my heart. I already paid him separately. So, right. like, so you just have to, you know, educate yourself. And you got to be up on your game all mm-hmm. the way around the board. And you have to turn that sensitivity button off. Mm. So like what do you mean by that? When somebody says something about me, before I go to 10, I listen. Mm-hmm. All right, he right. Shaq shouldn't have did it. Did it. I listen first, like, mm-hmm. before I go to 10. If there's any validity into it, I say, okay, and I won't respond. But if mm-hmm. you just cloud chasing or trying to do what you do. Bumping at the gums. Then I got to respond. Absolutely. How you get in that mindset, time. Shaq? What made you start thinking, like, let me. Because I'm not right all the time. Mm. And I'm not the smartest guy in the room. And I can admit and say I'm not the smartest guy in the room. And I want to learn from the smartest guy in the room. And you have to sometimes sit back and, you know, just humble yourself sometimes and just, you know, just uh, say that. I learned that by going to one of those tech meetings. And you see all the yeah. all the all the big boys. Yeah, they really know yeah. what they doing. And they don't be saying nothing. Right. Just be sitting back. Mm-hmm. Like, why are you not talking? Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden you just hear, I'll put in fifty million. I'll put in two hundred million. Right. I'm like, okay, that's how they do it. <laughs> so instead of coming there loud, I just sit back and, and just watch. I'm like, oh, okay, that uh oh, okay. and then you just and then you just write it down. I learned that from from magic. Magic. When I when I first got to LA, Magic was like, "Oh man, it's cool being a man, but at some point you want to start owning stuff." I didn't know what he was talking about. Yeah. But then after after I got that book, I start. My favorite word in the book is joint ventureship. Joint ventureship. Like for example, if I'm gonna do a podcast, I'm gonna get this crew right here. Absolutely. I do have a podcast called Big uh, Big Podcast with Shaq on uh, Podcast One. Just want to shout that out. But and believe that. Yeah, but instead of trying to do it myself, just do a JV. So, so like when I had that record label, I left Jive, but I said, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm going to still do business with y'all. Good to that. Give me distribution. That's it. Absolutely. That's all I did. So. And, you, and, and, and understand to the youth out there that he was able to do that because even through him getting his $10 million, him having to open the books up, him doing all of those things, catching them with their hand in a cookie jar, yep. he still kept it good business. Okay, I got caught y'all. Okay, cool. I got y'all. Y'all tried to get one over on me, but it's cool. Now I just need y'all for distribution. That's mm-hmm. it. He ain't go off. He ain't ran on them all crazy, put their business out there and, and at the time. They just kept it moving, handled business, took the sensitivity out of the business. Mm-hmm. Understand what he's saying. He took the sensitive out of it, all the emotion out of it, and then came back and got distribution. And killed him. Because I wish I could talk to some of these kids that have beef. I could put them, I, I, would, I would just sit them down and be like, listen, the world think we got beef. Now let's go make an album. Let's, let's, let's WWE this shit. Let's and, AEW wrestling this. And it would really blow up. Blow up. But you know why it's never going to happen? It's not even going to be because of the rappers. It's going to be because of the entourage. But, but guess what? We control the entourage. We used to control the entourage. If me and you had beef, I would come and say, okay. You probably say, okay, Tootie off limits and my kids off limit. Cool. And I'd say my kids off limit, Shawnee off limit, Arnett off limit. You could talk about everything else. And we'd go back and forth. Like, yeah. Okay. Like, uh-huh. just, and then we just put it out just uh-huh. to you know, see the reaction. And the reaction would be crazy. And then we'd do a show, trauma. right? You know, we do a show, right? You, your boys, me and my boys, we come to meet them. We push each other and that motherfucker beat a drop. And we just. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. 
Cause it's you got to get to the money. Th- that's the bottom line. Bottom line. Let's get to the money. That's the bottom line. And if anything gonna <laughs> stop the money, we don't need to be having it. I, like well, that, it hurts me when young brothers. I don't see a man no more. Like young brother that got that. That just that just hurts me. Like right. I wish I could say something, but you know, street rule number one: mm. you mind your business. Right. But like when I'm 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 on these sites and I, I be seeing brothers getting popped. That hurts me because I'm because you could be the next. Absolutely, 